Hey everyone, if you're somebody who's scrolling through colleges and wondering if you should really apply to SRM University, well guess what, you have landed in the right video. I am Krishnapriya Rajesh who is doing second year aerospace engineering in SRM University and in this video I will be spilling all the real tea about everything from how to get into what life is like in SRM. So buckle up and welcome to yet another episode of Nams Drugs. P.S. One important note, any information that I am going to say in this video is taken from the official website of SRM University to which the link I have given in the description, you can go check out the things. I have divided this video into chapters which I have given time notes as well. You can jump to the part where you want to get the information off and let's get started. SRM University is actually a private deemed university and it has a lot of accreditations especially the NAAC A++ grade and a lot of other accreditations which I have given here. You can also check out those accreditations in the official website. And one important ranking every student considers when it comes to universities is NIRF ranking. And according to 2024 NIRF ranking, uh, university stays in the 21st position. And every year these kind of inspections happen in the premises. As well. comes to location, one of the important problems that people face when it comes to location is that uh, when you come to railway station, that is the Chennai Central Railway Station, you'll have to take a train to Chengalpattu district and get down at Potteri Railway Station. And when you get down at Potteri Railway Station, exactly opposite the highway, you see the SRM main gate. Okay? And that is the main gate to the main campus. And if you're coming by bus, you can directly choose your drop point as SRM University as the main gate is itself a drop point. Oh, something I forgot to mention is that SRM Katangulatar University has two campuses. People do not know there is two campuses for SRM University. I am actually recording this part at the last because I actually forgot to record before. So let me tell you about the two campuses. One campus is a main campus and one campus is a side campus. Main campus is a campus which they actually started SRM University in the initial stages. So their first buildings were in the main campus and then comes the side campus. Most of the videos that you see about SRM, that is these videos, are about the side campus. So when you are a first year student, most probably you will have classes in the side campus and sometimes depending on the spaces which is available, you will have sometimes in the main campus as well. But then courses like civil, mechanical, chemical, aerospace and all these courses will have classes happening in the main campus and my classes are also happening in the main campus and rest courses like biotechnology, computer science and all those will be happening in the side campus. Now that I've given this brief introduction about the university, the location, let me move on to the courses offered. There are so many courses that are offered in the university like PG, UG courses and even PhD programs as well. And since I'm doing engineering, I'll be talking more on the engineering aspect, not on the medical aspect. But then our university offers arts courses, uh, medical courses, engineering courses, and a lot of other courses with a lot of specialization. Now coming to the admission process, one major important process when it comes to admission is SRM JEEE entrance exam. So it is a joint entrance exam which is university level exam and you have to write the exam if you want to go into the university or you can go by NRI quota, management quota and all those others. Considering the entrance exam, there will be three exams conducted every year and you can write any one of the phase and the details and the dates have been announced and it is given here you can refer to this and it is also announced in the official portal and i'll also be giving a website where you can tentatively refer to the dates and deadlines if required the entrance exam is actually online mode you can remotely attend from your home itself and they'll be giving you a software or, or, or an app kind of thing which you can launch in your laptop and you can attend your exam there are so many instructions that has to be followed that has to be followed when it comes to the level of exam questions, uh, if you're a student who's preparing for KEEM entrance exam or any kind of entrance exam, it is going to be easy. Is there anything that you can avail from writing an entrance exam? If you are under the rank of 100, you will be getting a fees wavering according to the department and your fee structure. And also there are various scholarships which are available. And one important scholarship which you can aim for as a first year student is, after first year, the college itself produces a rank list. And if you are one of the top performing students in your class, the college will give you a certain percentage of scholarships. This is one scholarship that you can aim for in the first year of your studies. Next comes the expenses and fees. Uh, the tuition fees is solely depending on the department that you are going to choose. All the department details, fees details is available in the official website. You can go check in it. Next is the hostel and mess fees. 
hostel and mess space is separate you have to pay separately and hostel facilities solely depends on what kind of facilities that you need they'll give you wi-fi food and everything laundry and all those will come under the hostel and mess facilities any hidden cost and extra cost depends on the money that you're going to spend outside which is the workshops and canteen food the all those other expenses that you're going to have separately this comes a very important part everybody is going to ask is campus life you have a hell lot of campus life going on in srm because uh, one is clubs and societies there is a body called dsa which is the directorate of student affairs and under which there's a hell lot of clubs and societies you can join any clubs and societies there is no limit to it you can actually be a part of a lot of clubs and societies network with people increase your skills in any area that you want let it be dance let it be rubik's cube let it be racing let it be drones let it be anything you can actually go into anything next comes events and fest there is a lot of events and fest which constantly happens in our university one is milan which is one of the cultural fest one is arush which is one of the biggest technical fest where companies will come and you'll have to you can attend workshops by the companies you'll have to pay separate for that okay next is shuru and zalak which are also technical i mean cultural fest so these are some of the major fests and programs and events that happen in the university and there is always a program for any special day let it be holi onam vishu there will be programs any time every time one major pro of studying in srm is that there's a lot of diversity you get to meet a lot of people who are from different parts of the country and people who are not even from country my class itself is very diverse that i have nepali students i have nigerian student i have a lot of other people who are from different parts of the country in my class so the diversity is very high you get to experience a whole lot of different culture this major important thing is the academics and the faculties so first thing is teaching quality i highly recommend you go into your department's website in the official website and look into your faculties and their qualifications and their experience from that itself you can get to know how good the faculty is and one of the major important point that you have to notice most of our professors are phd holders with a lot of experience in their area so which is actually good and uh, labs and infrastructure is very good uh, my labs and infrastructure and all the facilities that is available for aerospace is actually good quality and it is in well maintenance next is uh, course curriculum and flexibility now since i'm talking about um, engineering engineering students actually have a flexible timetable for instance i'll give you my uh, timetable which is given here any time which is free i don't have to attend college and any time which i have class is the only time that i have to attend college and you will be divided into batches which means uh, batch a might have another time class batch a will have another time of class so that's how the flexibility is yes we do get placed next question is placements there's a lot of companies which come to the university when it's time for placement and there's a lot of opportunities available and we also have a placement cell which you can directly contact and get to know we also have international relations and uh, so many abroad programs as well in the university which you can get to know with the international relations board and the placements next comes extra opportunities there is always scope for projects researches international collaboration startups there is actually a whole body which is dedicated for startups they'll help you make your startup so there's a lot of opportunities which is available in the college just one thing that you should be able to avail all those you should be able to choose what you want and utilize it to the proximity let's be honest here what are the pros and cons which i felt there's a lot of pros which i've already mentioned uh, in the before parts of the video is it called before parts of the video okay whatever right. but what i do not like about the flexibility is that uh, you have to be in the college most of the times even though you have very flexible timetable it does not feel like you have uh, flexibility so that's one of the cons one important pro but also is accompanied by a con is that we have email we have a separate email for the university we'll have a separate id uh, which is for the university and all the mails all the events that is happening in the university will be led to you through the mail one problem with this method is that there is no segregation of mail any mail that is for the medical batch that is for the arts batch that is for the engineering batch is just put out together to everybody so you have to constantly keep track of your mail to know what is for you and what is not for you because there's a lot of opportunities lots of workshop lots of uh, ted talks lots of conferences which is happening constantly in the university and you can actually go and attend them but 
all this information is put to you through the mail and you have to constantly keep track of the mail to know by this we are almost by the end of the video for general content and aerospace engineering i'll be talking later if you ask me who should consider joining i would say anybody who wants to experience life out of your home to experience a bit of a uh, different culture experience uh, independence experience things on your own and get to learn a lot of things you have to literally study somewhere outside your home outside your comfort zone this gives you a lot of life experiences and so i highly recommend if you want to join the university but i actually do not like my college i mean yeah i do not like it i mean actually sondam college ne kutam parayan nu parayana oru sambhavam undu so that is all of this there but then i would say if you are a person who wants to get into a lot of skill development a lot of personal growth a lot of networking and all those and improve your extracurricular activities other than your academics srm is actually a good place but then the only problem is anything that you touch is going to cost you a lot of things i mean money anything and everything that you touch in srm is going to cost you a lot of things that is one major problem that i face and time management is one important thing because you have a lot of things which is happening in college and time management if you cannot manage your time it's going to be really hard for you because with all the extracurricular activities all the club activities all the academic activities that is going on it is going to be really overwhelming because our college timing which i have not mentioned from the starting of the video which i actually forgot is from 8 to 5 yes 8 to 5 but since we have flexible uh, timings for engineering students you don't actually have to sit in the college from 8 to 5 you just have to go to college when you have class but then for medical batches it is from 8 to 4 continuous class continuous you will have 8 to 4 classes and when it comes to medical i'll just tell i'll just introduce you to some of the uh, courses which is available there is a lot of courses which is available in medical there is bsc nursing there is bsc cardiac perfusion which one more, one of my roommate is doing then there is audiology and speech technology i mean sorry speech therapy audiology and speech therapy physiology physiotherapy and then a lot of courses which is available in medical as well which is also available in the official website given you can just go check which department that you want to join in and welcome to the most awaited part which is where i'm going to talk about aerospace engineering i don't know how many of you are here still here if you are still here i can understand that you are very keen about aerospace what is aerospace engineering i have been studying about aircrafts and spacecrafts but mainly it is focusing on aircrafts and coming to the faculty there are so many professors who are actually good in what they know and what they're teaching there's a lot of uh, people who have so much of experience our hod itself has like 35 years of experience in this field and the facility we have a hangar wherein there is a cessna a helicopter there is a kiran and uh, there's a lot of other models as well and there is and we also have labs which have machineries which is actually good i think hi guys we have come to the end of the video and i hope i've covered all the topics that you wanted to discuss and if there is any further doubts please drop it in the comments and i'll be replying back so if this helped you out please give it a like and share it to a friend and i'll see you in another video from namsirox until then all the best with your admissions